like, what was it? Early 2013, mm. um, I made a beat with my friend. And the next day he had a session with this artist named SZA that I had never heard of before. And so we made this beat and then the next day he calls me and he was like, yo, uh, I just had a session with that SZA girl and she just like freestyled over that beat that we made. Um, and she wants to post it to SoundCloud tomorrow. Are you cool with that? And I was like, this is a beat that we, we like made it in like 20 minutes or something. Yeah. It's just like something yeah. we were like, oh, Some you know. throw away having fun with um, your friends. Which is always how it happens. A, right? Um, and she posts it and it's like on pitchfork and all this crazy no stuff. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Okay. Um, and then the next time I saw her, I saw her at the studio that I used to work at. And she was like, super stressed she was like oh my ep comes out tomorrow like and i need like a couple more songs done and i was like oh okay and then i like left and i came back and she was still there and i was like well like you, do you still need help or whatever and she was like yeah like can you like engineer like i got this one beat can you like engineer it so i was like okay you add cool and then i had a, a, a another beat like lying around that she freestyled over and i stayed up all night mixing them and sent it to her and I fell asleep. And then the next day it was like, this is this new EP is out, blah, blah, blah. Here's the track list. And like, like, yeah, actually like no shit, like the day before. Yeah. And it gets added to the EP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. What? But like, I mean, yeah, I knew when I was recording her, I was like, she's like next level. Like really? nothing you is going to stop her. Oh yeah. Like the, just the way she worked. I was like, yep. She's great. Yeah, like she's like, my like, dude. I had no idea about this. With yeah, you. and what what EP is that? I think it was called S. It's okay. like not on any of the the streaming sites. I think it's okay. Just got on it. So these are early days. Yeah, 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 early, yeah, yeah. early, early. Okay. Early. Oh. oh, and hence why like it could just get uploaded the next day. Like it wasn't going through like yeah, every this was, fucking this, distribution yeah, channel. I don't even think like I don't even think like Spotify was like that much of a thing. Yet. Yeah. If it, it was still like, like I mean, it early, was people were, weren't like paying attention to it. Like they Correct. were, this is like pre like playlists and all that stuff. Yeah. Like this would be the days of like hype them and stuff like that. Like internet blogs and shit. Yeah. Like that, it was pitchfork. like, I remember she was like, oh, like I have a premiere in Village Voice tomorrow and I need to get this done. Got and it. Like uploaded to SoundCloud. Got it. Yeah. 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 So sound, yeah. Sound, that is a magical time where SoundCloud. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get it. So, your songs are on the EP. Yeah, and that was like awesome for a while because it's like, oh, by virtue of just being in the right place at the right time, now my name is like attached to like one of the like up rising stars of yeah. the pop industry. And so like I was basically able, like very fortunately, like to just kind of like bank on that and get into all these like sessions. That's exactly what I was going to ask. Yeah, yeah, Did yeah. that open up like mad doors? Yeah, like for a while. Like it was one of those things like while I was doing, I was like, this is great, but like the you know like the the weirdo like instrumental guitarist inside of me was like slowly dying and that's kind of like where my own happened i was like my favorite thing in the entire world is just playing guitar right and i was like all right like i need to do a project where i like tap into that like yeah that like teenager like i just want to just fucking great shredding you know and like yeah um wow so that's when my own stuff started happening it's legitimately a passion project like, yeah that was like purely an outlet for you to just be like i need to do this yeah it's one of those things that's like totally irrational you're like i like i know i can make this type of song i don't know like what this is but i'll just keep doing this and then uh, something will eventually happen yeah but what an interesting maybe it wasn't like a crossroads where you had to like fork and hard choose one or the other but like God damn, to be producing pop and associated to SZA at that time, like... Well, I mean, I just got lucky. Like, she she is, like, a phenom. Like, I've mm -hmm. never worked with anybody like her. Yeah. Like, it could have been anybody else that was right. there on that day with tracks. Like, <laughs> it, I, could, yeah. I, I don't really consider myself, like, a foundational part to her success because, like, that's all her. Sure. Like she's, you... like, a true artist, and she's, like incredible you ha like you i got literally were in the right place super lucky like yeah <laughs> let me be super clear but, about that like yes for sure we acknowledge that but ho like however you clearly understood production and had been putting your time in and could hang and give her tracks that were up to par for her and that opens doors like 
I just, I could imagine that there is a world where you really could have gone all in on that and just been the pop guy forever. Yeah. And maybe you still are. I don't know. I'm learning. I'm but... trying to get back in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I see. So you did kind of step away as you went all in on my own for a minute there? Well, I mean, the past couple of years have been just so crazy. Like, I've never like fully stepped away from doing pop. Like all, like all, there's always like a ratio of it built into like whatever I'm doing at any given moment. Mm -hmm. um, in the last two years, it's it hasn't been a lot at all. Mm. Uh, but I think the last moment where I like really went super hard for it was like maybe like 2018, 2019. I did like a, like a lot. Really? Yeah. Would it be stuff that I know? No, never. Really? none of it ever came out. One of the big bummer moments for like a lot of like the pop session stuff is like, it's just like the amount of work that I would put in for stuff that like would never come out was yeah. always like disappointing me. And that's just normal for pop music. And it's yeah. something that everybody who's like successful in that industry, it's like, yeah, you kind of just have to get over that. Dude, it's but I but like it would drive me crazy. So I was like, I'm going to do a project where I control everything. and I can just yes. release as much yes. as I want. It's actually fucking crazy you're saying that because a very dear friend of mine, she writes in so many pop sessions mm -hmm. and she's had a couple placements where it's like, yo, fuck, that's like a very top artist. Yeah. Yet I get that same feeling from her of like, yeah, but it's a little bit heartless because you spent all this time and you put so much into it and maybe you get the placement and maybe it gets the focus. But ultimately, it's like it's that artist's project and you're always behind the scenes and it's always however they feel like rolling it out. And it's like you don't have a lot of control. Yeah. And it's a lot of hoping and a lot of sessions that go nowhere. So actually, as you're saying that, I'm like, I totally get why you would want to just do the yeah. same thing. Hey, it's Andrew, the host of Where Are All My Friends. I hope you liked that clip. If you did, the full episode is out now. You can watch or listen to it anywhere where podcasts are available and probably wherever you found this clip. So go check it out.